Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jinxi. Let's look at the problem 37, chapter 13. Chapter 13 is about fluids. We can see if we have a ship float along at the surface of the water, right? So there must be buoyancy and the gravity. So first one, we need to show the buoyancy force uh, is just across the center of the gravity of these fluids um, before it is displaced. So now, how can we consider that? We can see for this object, we want to make sure it is balanced. So the net force is zero, net torque is zero, agree? So net force is zero makes the buoyancy equal to gravity in magnitude and upside in direction. And the net torque is zero, so there is no distance from the rotation at the center of mass to this force. So make net torque is zero, right? So the buoyancy and the gravity a lot must along a line. The next one tell us if we want to make sure this ship is stable, balanced, uh, would it be better if the center of the buoyancy is above, below, or at the same point? Uh, it's the center of the gravity? No, right? So in this one, we can see if we want to make sure this ob ship, this object is a static balanced, the net torque must be zero, right? So in this one, so we must make sure that is the buoyancy along the just along the line with the gravity. So these two points must must overlap. If it did not overlap, you can see there is a distance. So we can say we have the torque caused by the buoyancy, right? And this will make the ship rotate. And also similarly there. If it's not cross the central mass, there will be a distance from central mass to the buoyancy. It will make the ship rotate. So this is not the static balance. Thank you.